Okay, so this video, I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of computations without my help. Um, and I want to, in your calculator in this mode, and in radian, I want you to type these in exactly as you see them. And we're going to look for a pattern. And this is kind of messy. It's e, i to the, and so it's e, i to the pi by three, three, excuse me. Do them all, and you're going to see some decimals. Hopefully, you recognize them. Try and put the exact values if you can. Go ahead, put them in, and then uh, take a look what I have. So pause the video. When you come back, the answers will be there. Go ahead, pause. Okay, so hopefully you were able to come up with these values. Even this last one here, you tried on your own. And so did you recognize or looking for a pattern this value here is cosine of 2 pi by 3 plus i. This value here is sine of 2 pi by 3. So if I want to generalize this co computation, it is cosine theta plus i sine theta. And this is called, and if I rewrite it with r, it's uh, r cosine theta, r cosine theta plus i sine theta. And this is called Euler, fo or Euler form. Um, and it's another handy way of working with complex numbers, another way of writing a complex number. So we have Cartesian formula, which looks like a plus bi. We have polar or trig form, which is cis theta. And now we have e to the i theta, which is Euler's form. And we want to use De Mauer's theorem to prove, Euler's form to prove De Mauer's theorem. And what De Mauer's theorem says, if we remember, it says that r cis theta to the power n is equal to r to the n cis n theta. Okay, so. I'm going to start with r cis theta to the power n. I want to end up with this. I know from Euler's formula that that's the same as r e to the i theta to the power of n. Well, using our rules of exponent, that's r e i to the n theta. Now, if we go back to polar form, that's r cis n theta. And so that's a proof of De Mauer's theorem by using the rules of exponents.